Let's walk through a vestibular ocular reflex progression. We call these VOR exercises and we do them when there is an issue with the uh, vestibular system. Uh, specifically, a uh, vestibular specialist would prescribe these if you have what's called a UVH or a unilateral vestibular hypofunction. This could come from a variety of things. The most common one is called a vestibular neuritis. Um, but again, a vestibular specialist will diagnose this condition and prescribe you uh, VOR exercises as your home exercise program. So let's review a couple. We call this one VOR times one. We call it times one because the head will be moving and the target will not be. Only one thing is moving. So Sophia, let's start moving your head left and right, keeping your eyes right on this X, okay? All right, so if you're very acute, you may wanna start this very slowly with your feet wide apart. All right, as you become a little bit more um, comfortable, start moving the head a little bit faster. All right, ways we can manipulate this is by manipulating the amplitude of the motion, which is how far uh, the degree we're moving the head, and also the frequency of the motion, as in how fast the head is moving, all right? The one thing we don't wanna do, and you can slow down a little bit there, Sophia, is we cannot move between uh, beyond two hertz per second. So if you set a metronome, two hertz per second is the same as 120 beats per minute. The VOR uh, reflex does not operate beyond two hertz per second. So if you move so fast, that X will not stay in focus if you're beyond two hertz per second. So we wanna move as fast as you can while it's challenging, but that X should always stay in focus and it should not be jumbling around. Mm -hmm. All right, so we wanna do this for about 30 to 45 seconds and then take a break. All right, a way we can manipulate this exercise is you can go into a tandem position with your feet with a heel toe position. You can bring your feet together. You can stand on one leg. We can even walk up and down. All right, we'll, we'll try that. So see if, you can, see if you can walk up and back while that head is moving left and right. All right, oh, yeah. yeah, it's a little more challenging. So keep, take a couple steps back and a couple steps forward each way. Ready, good forward, keep going, keep going, and back, back, forward, forward, back, back, good. So you can do some movement along with these VOR times one exercises. You can also move into the up and down motion, all right? And you could also do some diagonals where we go kind of chin and away. Good. So you wanna mix all these into it. So all this is in the VOR category, VOR times one, and you wanna do these for about 30 to 45 seconds and about five repetitions, all right? All right, so that's VOR times one. Another good, easy one to do at home. I can just hop out and get my other X. We're gonna slap it on the wall, all right? And we call this VOR, uh, we call this two target VOR. So this time, Sophia, what I want you to do is look right at this target. Eyes and head are on this target, all right? Switch your eyes to the other one without moving your head and quickly jerk your head to the other direction, good. Eyes over here, quick head. Eyes over there, quick head. Eyes over here, quick head. Good, and keep going. Call that two target VOR, all right? Again, five repetitions, about 30 to 45 seconds each. Again, you can challenge your feet in the same way. Tandem position, you can stand on pillows or foam, and you can do it while you're walking, all right? And again, always see your vestibular physical therapist and he'll progress you further with other challenging activities that you can do inside the clinic. But these, these are excellent things that you can do in the home.